Come on. Hello. <laughs> and good morning to everybody from Coolum Beach on this beautiful summer's day. People out walking their dogs. But I've got to share a little bit of the scripture this morning from <coughs> Acts chapter 4. And this is after Peter and John had uh, healed a lame beggar and had been talking to the crowds about the wonderful power of the Lord Jesus Christ. And of course it got up the high priests, the chief priests and the elders had got up their nose and so they ended up putting them in prison for the night. They didn't know what to do with them. They put them in prison. But on their release from verse 23, Peter and John went back to their own people and reported all that the chief priests and the elders had said to them. When they heard this, they raised their voices together in prayer to God. Sovereign Lord, they said, you made the heavens and the earth and the sea and everything in them. You spoke by the Holy Spirit through the mouth of your servant, our father David. Why do the nations rage and the peoples plot in vain? And why do the kings and the earth rise up and the rulers band together against the Lord and against his anointed one? Indeed, Herod and Pontius Pilate met together with the Gentiles and the people of Israel in this city to conspire against your holy servant Jesus, whom you anointed. They did what your power and will had decided beforehand should happen. Now, Lord, consider their threats and enable your servants to speak your word with great boldness. Stretch out your hand to heal and perform signs and wonders through the name of your holy servant, Jesus. After they prayed, the place where they were meeting was shaken and they were filled with the Holy Spirit and spoke the word of God boldly. Can you imagine that? After they prayed, the whole place shook and they were filled with the Holy Spirit and spoke the word of God boldly. Now we can do the same if we ask the Lord to fill us with his Holy Spirit. He will give us boldness and courage to go and share the word of God with those that we meet along our way. After that it says the believers share their possessions. All the believers were on in one heart and mind. No one claimed that any of their possessions was their own and they shared everything they had. Imagine that if we were in one heart and one mind and we shared everything that we had. With great power the apostles continued to testify to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus and God's grace was so powerfully at work in them all that there were no needy persons among them. For from time to time those who owned land or houses sold them, brought the money from the sale and put it at the apostles' feet and it was distributed to anyone who had need. Hallelujah, that's Christianity at work in its finest form. When the Holy Spirit is guiding them and teaching them and leading them and causing to be of one mind and one body and one heart, so they all have one purpose which is to share the love of God and the grace of God with our dying world. There's a powerful story there. We need to pray the Holy Spirit will fill us. Fill us anew. You don't just get filled once with the Holy Spirit. You can be ongoing, being filled with the Spirit of God if you stay close to Him. Stay close to His Word and let His Word get in you. And then you can be a blessing to all the people that you meet as you go. See you later now. You have a great day. God be with you. Get into the Word. Let the Word of God get into you. Bye for now. See ya.